And after you have your canvas all cornered up, um, the corners are all protected with your corner protectors. Now what we want to do is put cardboard on the top and bottom. So I have the cardboard here on the bottom and I'm just setting the canvas on top of that, centering it up. I have another cardboard sheet cut to the same dimensions as the canvas and just center that up as best as I can tell and then I'm going to tape it all together. All right, now the next step in this packaging process is to add some cushioning. Um, I have the inner package here and this outer package. Um, and this is just from uh, s some other canvas or painting I had. It's a box that I've saved. But I'm making some cushions with styrofoam. So if you have a styrofoam sheet, it's not too difficult to do this. Basically, you just take that sheet, you can cut it using a long ruler or a T-square. I already have this done here. And you would just basically cut this down to, a, to the dimension of the, the painting. So that would be the tall side. Um, and you would just measure that. Here I've got three inches, so I make it slightly taller than three inches. And I cut it on both sides and then snap it. And then I take the long piece that I have, and this is something I already did off camera, but uh, I would take this piece here, cut it in half, just cut it on one side, maybe the other, and snap it. You could actually just cut it on one side, it'll still snap. And then what I have are these rectangular pieces, which are, oh, approximately six inches, seven inches long. And just so it doesn't make a big mess inside here, and we have tons of pieces of styrofoam everywhere, I'm just kind of encasing them in uh, paper, in brown craft paper. First, I'm just going to tape them together. This is probably a lot of extra work, but since this painting eventually is going overseas, I want to make sure that it's protected very, very well. It was just a uh, domestic shipment. Maybe I won't go to all this trouble, but overseas it's going to take a little more abuse, so I just want to be extra safe. Okay, so now I have this piece here. What I'm going to do is just kind of fold it over as best I can. So we'll fold it over this way. Something like that just so that it's kind of covered up. Stick this one over here. Okay, I want to show you what's going on at a different vantage point. Um, I have the interior package here, and I've got some large bubble wrap on the top. And then here are my corners, two pieces of styrofoam taped together with some brown craft paper to shield the uh, pieces from falling apart so it's not messy on the inside and we don't have little styrofoam pieces everywhere. So this is going to add some extra support then on the corners. And then um, I have the exterior box here, which is going to fold over like that. Um, but I do have to customize it a little bit. I'm going to have to cut some creases in here so this can fold over the top. Kind of like what we have here in the bottom. So that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Alright, I want to crease this box here. And I need to just make sure I have the dimensions correct. So I'm going to push it up against the back side and get it positioned where it would be. And then uh, I'm going to use the T-square. Alright. Looks like I'd want to have it have a crease right here. Give it just a little extra space. 
measure from the edge here. Got, because I have to give it a little extra space, keeping in mind that it's going to fold in and there'll be the thickness of the box itself. we could say. All right. Let's make sure I have it aligned on this other side here. Move it over just a little bit so we have four inches there as well. This line over just a bit. All right, I'm going to move the painting down a little bit since I have at least a rough guideline. I'm going to move this over maybe about a quarter of an inch. line there. I just want to measure it, make sure that it's same distance both sides we're looking at. Alright, looks like almost six inches. Six inches. That looks pretty straight then. And so we're going to make a crease right along this interior line. Don't want to cut through the box, just want to cut it enough so that it will fold. And you can use a ruler or a T square if you find it hard to cut a straight line freehand. I'm just following the line that I drew. Doesn't have to be perfect, just pretty close. And then, let's see, we're going to want to cut one of these ends here. I think this end right here, we're going to want to cut that so it can fold in to this cut. But that way, be careful with knives so you don't cut yourself. Let's keep your hands out of the way. And you're going to want to use a nice uh, utility knife with a sharp blade. Okay, we'll cut this end. It's already perforated a little bit, so that does cut a bit easier. Okay, let's see if this will fold. If, it's doesn't, if it doesn't fold easily, then it means you need to cut it just a bit more. So I'm just going to give it another once over here with the knife. Now let's see if that'll fold. We got it to fold. Okay, now we have a good straight edge here on this fold. And then I'll want it to fold up again over the top. But let's just see if we have it in the ballpark here. Hopefully I didn't give it too much room. I think, I think that's going to be, I think that'll work. Now I just need to 
pulled it over the top and I'll need to measure where it comes to on the top. So we're just going to draw a line on top of my styrofoam supports. I want it to clear that. Just a rough line and now I'll measure that a little more precisely. Use a shorter ruler for that. And let's see, give it a little extra room, maybe two inches on it will be good. Make sure that'll clear it, give us enough room. Yeah, that looks like that should be good. Okay, so I'll my T-square now and match up these two lines that I drew and I'm going to draw a line across them and I'm going to cut another score along here again you just want to barely cut in the first time and then the second time you can go a little deeper but you definitely don't want to cut through to the other side if you do cut through to the other side, you can always tape it, but it's not as strong if you do that, so it's better to just score it. All right, should be cut enough here to start folding it in. Just fold down on it nice and tight. Pulling that back on itself. Now that should be able to go right over the top like that. And that'll take us to the last step, which will be uh, completing the box and actually enclosing.